For local news now, it is spending hundreds of millions of dollars to build a new office building in downtown Milwaukee. But today, Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance announced it's cutting hundreds of jobs over the next couple of years. Ben Jordan live with more on what's to come. Ben. Steve, the company spokesperson telling me today that 100 jobs will be cut between now and the end of the year. Some of those employees getting their notice today. As Milwaukeeans watch the skyline change with Northwestern Mutual's new corporate headquarters along the lakefront, many are confused by the company's latest announcement. Apparently they have all this money to build a brand new building, but why would they make 100 job cuts? They've never made cuts previously, so that's a really... Um, I think a lot of corporations are surprised, a lot of people are surprised that they've never had to. Northwestern Mutual is one of the area's largest employers with a workforce of nearly 6,000. This morning, executives told employees in downtown Milwaukee and Franklin that their offices will lose hundreds of jobs through next year. A company spokesperson sent us this statement saying, as we invest in our strategic priorities to meet our clients' current and future needs, we are also committed to maintaining our strong financial position during this period of unprecedented low interest rates. There is no organization that is immune to the occasional setbacks, uh, but their commitment to certainly downtown Milwaukee, I don't think anybody questions. While Abley says the cuts are concerning for the community, former employee Lane Burns believes the move might be inevitable during frugal times for life insurance companies nationwide. I don't think Northwestern Mutual is necessarily doing poorly. I just think that they might be streamlining in ways to move forward. And I asked the company spokesperson about specifics on what types of jobs are being cut. They say the evaluation is ongoing. Live in downtown Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. It's tough news at any time. Ben, thanks.